Hey everyone, how's it going? So I'm back with another video on the firmware 11.0. This is one of the biggest update that Tesla has released in a very long time on how the whole display is set up and formatted. So in the initial impression video, I wasn't that impressed. Um, so I had a little bit more time to play with it. And there are things that you can customize with this new setup. Um, there's pros and cons. I'm sure a lot of the, the changes you get used to, but some of the feature that they had before was actually pretty good. Um, but this whole layout will be more of a square format, similar to that of the refresh model S and X. And we'll start with the upper bar, control bar, that used to be here. They used to have, um, they used to have more items, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, uh, your garage opener is still here temperature and time i believe that was it there were more initially then they start taking it away and then putting it into the actual car control panel and as you can see from the bottom bar here you actually have now two climate control or controllers versus one in the middle where the driver can control their own and the passenger can control their own so you have dual climate control now enable in a Tesla Model Y and 3. And you can see down here there's icons. So they changed the way the icon look. It's a lot smaller now. Uh, you don't have that swipe left and right to see your mileage or your trip information. Uh, you also don't have access to your tire pressure that normally I check often. So unfortunately that is removed from the quick swipe. And also your windshield wiper um, is removed from the bottom here. You can't even move that app control in here. You actually have to do a two-step process. So it's under car control and it's here. You either set it to auto. I usually have an off because the Model Y did put ceramic coating on the windshield. So highway speed, all the water just glides off. Local street, I do have to turn it on occasionally. Unfortunately, now it's hidden within a two-step process. So, you don't have that quick access anymore. I hope they bring that back. There's a lot of um, additional real estate here that you can actually move the app to, which they do allow. So, if I click on this three dot, you can customize what you want as your primary use app. Here I have the power usage of the vehicle energy consumption and so forth i look at that often the camera this is the rear rear camera and the fender um, repeater camera and then you have your sentry mode viewer activate sentry mode deactivate and then your streaming media center so those are the ones i use often i also use the tire monitoring view option frequently as well as the windshield wiper unfortunately you can't move that here So I'm not too sure what this one is for. Use your phone to scan the QR code above. Not sure what that would do. Let's, let's see. Oh, so you have quick access to Tadal. So sign ups or log in i don't have this account yet but that's a new feature then you go back to your media you still have all the same function as before you have your toy box okay theater now separated in different icon but if you click on one it's going to show on the top bar including your browser as well so the only customizable thing you can do here is move things uh, that are in this list of icon down to your my apps uh, unfortunately again you only allow four and then it does show your recent apps on here as well so it might be repetitive i wish that they allow you to have at least five or six or even seven personal app i don't really care for recent app because if it's already under my apps that's the ones I'll be using the most anyways. 
So you have your browser, again, your entertainment. Now you can quickly find your message, text message, your phone. Your phone icon has always been down there. Interestingly, they added Spotify as a separate app here. Bluetooth, so Bluetooth used to be up here, so now you're gonna have to go into this app, um, which is fine. You don't use that often once you said it, you forget it. Streaming radio, some of these are actually duplicate. For example, theater, arcade, toy box, you can just put that as entertainment, right? Uh, and that's what they title it, entertainment. So they really don't need to separate that three out. <clears throat> I'm being a little picky, but you know, if we want to simplify stuff, that's a way to do it. And then at some of the controllers, for example, the glove box, why is it still two step process? You literally have to go to control and then click on glove box. I understand the layout is similar to the S and X now refresh, but they could have at a quick icon up here somewhere or even down here that allows you to move that so you can get access to your your glove box quickly. I don't understand why they don't do that because I do use the glove box often. Um, same thing with the windshield wiper. Those are the two items they should allow you to add down here for your app. Um, the other items, steering wheel, mirrors control, once you set those, you really don't need to get back into it anymore. So that's fine to keep here. Sentry mode now is is uh, the icons right here, which has always been up here. Down here is fine. I don't see the tire pressure. I guess you go into service for that. Yeah. Now it's hidden in service. So it's two-step process to see your tire pressure. I understand why they put it here, just to categorize things appropriately, but I wish they would either put it on here as an option to for you to light it up on this actual main display that doesn't do anything other than show you your autopilot visualization uh, but having that ability to quickly monitor your tire pressure because a normal person that's not familiar with vehicle or you know they don't go deep into the actual controls they're not going to know what their tire pressure is until it's completely low and if you own an EV, you've driven an EV, you know tire pressure is key to keeping that efficiency and also maintaining the accuracy of your range. So if you have low tire pressure, you're gonna be burning into your battery and potentially damaging your battery if your tire pressure is uh, running too low for quite some time. So they have that here now under service, wheel configuration. So everything else is not changed. Uh, they just move over the um, the tire pressure into the service. So yeah, I'm, I'm being picky, but, but driving a Tesla vehicle for a few years now, those are some of the items I, you know, they should have got customer feedback, you know, all customer feedback, not just, not just, um, their own employee feedback. And, and we drive a lot. So some things hopefully they'll they'll tweak in the near future for future updates but for now um i do like the new layout is it looks more modernized uh, and it looks similar to that of the s and the x refresh you you can't swipe between two screen you can't flip it like in the x and s refresh screen but at least you can customize some of the icon here which is a good start Hopefully they'll add the other feature back. So Tessa, if you're listening, put the tire pressure back so you can see that either on the main display or quick access here. Same thing with the windshield wiper, because if you're going through a car wash, you're panicking because you're trying to get your car in neutral. You never really put your car in neutral and having to deal with uh, turning off the windshield wiper. I know, I know now you can actually go to service and then hit on car wash mode, but there are times where ranges start hitting and then I have somebody driving the vehicle that's not familiar with Tesla trying to figure out how to turn on the windshield wipers and that can be dangerous. So hopefully they bring that back as quick control as well. And then 
just remove the um, the recent access icon or apps and allow more real estate here. I mean, four icon. I use. I definitely use more than these four icons. These four apps more frequently. So you can make the temperature control smaller. I don't know. Just get some feedback. Hopefully, um, they'll listen and improve that in future firmware update. But I like the layout. I like the new icon. It looks modernized. But there's still improvement and there's still quick access that they need to apply at the glove box icon out here as as um one step instead of two step it's very annoying having to click on uh, on the control here and then having a click on glove box first world problem but you know if you're going to update something to improve it do it uh do it perfectly it's been it's been many years uh, where they're trying to perfect it but they end up taking away some of the key feature that's been useful so far. Catch you on next time. Remember to subscribe.